everyone. In this video, we learn how to print this series. So if you can see, the series is this. That is, s is equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x4, so on till x raised to the power n. So here, the value of x and the value of n will be entered by the user. So let's understand the series with the help of an example. Let's suppose the value of x entered by the user is 2 and the value of n is 5. In that case, the series becomes um, 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cube plus 2 raised to the power 4 plus 2 raised to the power 5 which becomes this. Okay, so that means if the value of x is 2 and the value of n is 5 then the answer should come out to be 63. We do not have to print the series, we have to print the sum of the series. So let's see how we can do this in BlueJ. So BlueJ is already open, we'll create a new class and uh, let's type the name of this uh, class as series and ok. So right click, open editor and uh, we can remove this comments and we can remove this code also because we don't need this. Now we are left with this method. Let's change the return type of the method to void and let's call this, um, uh, instead of calling it sample method, let's uh, change the name of the method as test, okay. And uh, here we will not be passing any parameters and uh, here we will be accepting the value of x and n from the user using a scanner class. So for that we have to use an import statement. So import java dot uh, util dot star. Okay, so we have to import this and then after that we'll use scanner class. So let's say scanner, S has to be capital. Scanner, uh, the name of the object is SC. You can uh, get this, instead of SC you can give any name. It is an identifier. But this scanner class is an inbuilt class which is part of this package, java.util. So it has to be written like this and S has to be capital. So scanner SC is equal to new scanner and within this we'll write system dot in it has to be written like this only if you want the value to be entered by the from the keyboard okay and now we'll print a message system dot out dot print ln uh, we'll say enter the value of uh, x and y okay close the double quotes so enter the value of x and y now after this we will uh, after this what we have to write is we'll declare two variables int x comma n okay and it should not be x and y it should be x and n okay so enter the value of x and n and x is equal to sc dot next int so the first number entered by the user and then n is equal to again sc dot next int so all we are doing here is we are accepting the value of x and n from the user that is x is the base this number and n is the part till which the series will move on okay after accepting these two variables now we have to find the sum of the series so for that we'll introduce one more variable i and initial value of i would be 1 and s to store the sum okay and the initial value of s we can take as 1 okay so after this we will write for i is equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus okay open the curly braces of the for now we have to store this we have to find the sum okay so for this we will write s is equal to s plus we'll make use of math class math dot p o w this is a bar function i'll just explain it let me write it first x comma i okay and after that we will close the curly braces of for loop now because this math dot bar function will return a double value so you have to use the cast operator that means within the parenthesis we'll write the int data type we want to convert this double value to ca int so we'll use cast it to int okay so you will cast it to int and then this is how we will use this and outside the loop we will print the value of s so s will give us the 
sum of this series okay so now let's understand what we have done so firstly we start from i is equal to 1 and i less than equal to n n is the as you see here n is the term till which the series will continue okay uh, and then i plus plus so initially in the initial value of s is 1 we have taken s to be 1 here so what happens is this becomes 1 plus math dot pow that is power function x comma i that means x comma 1 so let's presume the value of x is 2 and i is 1 so this becomes math dot pow 2 comma 1 that means 2 raised to the power 1 so that means this gives us these two terms 1 plus 2 here so we get one initial value of s was 1 and then 2 raised to the power 1 is 1 so we get these first two term, terms of the series that means it adds these two terms so the value of s after this first iteration becomes 1 plus 2 which is 3 now then i becomes 2 so when i becomes 2 s is initially now s is the last value of s was 3 so this becomes 3 plus math dot pow 2 comma 2 that means 2 comma 2 means this is the base and this is the power okay so this, this becomes 2 raised to the power 2 so that means we get this third term 4 so 3 plus 4 gives us 7 so here we got the sum till here so this is the way it will continue till it is less than equal to n okay so when it completes the loop we come out and we print the value of s okay so let's uh, save this program and let's compile it okay so it is compiling and we got no syntax errors now we will minimize this window right click new series okay so you should get this right click run this method void test and here enter the value of x and n so let's enter x to be 2 and the value of n let's take it as 5. So you see we get 63. So here 63. So this is what we should be getting. So we are getting 63. So this is how we can find the sum of this series. Okay. So if you like this video, please click on share, like and subscribe to my channel estudy.in. Thank you.